<laughs> nice. That was well timed, even if I didn't anticipate it. Hello everyone, welcome once again to the month of Fright. Today on the agenda is Castlevania The Adventure Rebirth. Apparently the original game was on Game Boy and considered not good at all. And then Konami decided to remake it for the Nintendo Wii. Crazy, huh? Back when they arguably still cared about making games. Let's start, shall we? Count Dracula, Demon King with a once great power. Time after time throughout history, Dracula was defeated by the Belmonts, a family of vampire hunters who brought peace to this land. 100 years have passed since Dracula's demise, and with the fear of him gone, he rose again along with his castle. With such a tragic history repeating itself, Christopher, a descendant of the Belmonts, decided to stand up for humanity against the demon. He alone seeks to infiltrate the Dark Castle where the demons run rampant. This is going by way too quickly. What the hell? But well, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I guess. I guess. Oh, I love how it starts out with Vampire Killer. Also, you have air control, which I very much appreciate. I'm not a fan of the Castlevanias where you don't have air control, where you're locked in one direction when you jump. Some people apparently think that's a good idea. I do not. I think it's artificial difficulty, but that's just my opinion. You're free to disagree, and we can have disagreements. Everyone has personal preferences. I'm not going to say that your opinion is wrong or that my opinion is right. Just that we like different things, if you do in fact prefer it like that. And I have no problem with you. Just so we're clear. If you want to think I'm a filthy casual because I do not like being stuck in one direction when I jump, well that's just fine. I just happen to prefer the Symphony of the Night based Castlevania games. And so far, this is giving me that vibe. Oh, perfect. Eyeballs. Will you eyeball me eyeballs? Oh, nice. Holy water. Oh, I see. I know in Symphony of the Night, I think it was, um, holy water is extremely powerful. Uh, this one might not be nearly as much. Oh, that's great. That was smooth right there, I think. Well, that wasn't so smooth, but at least I avoided damage so far. So far! Oh, that is just... Okay, I guess you can't jump onto the stairs. That's my bad. Now I know. Hello. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yes, since you have air control, the enemies are also free to be that much more harder on you. What the? What does the key do? Is it a sub weapon? Okay, whatever. Either way. Okay, fair enough. Oh boy. I love the fact that it shoots fireballs too, that's great. Nicely done. Okay, just gotta time it better. That's better. Just gotta be patient. And everything will be fine. Everything appears to be just fine so far. Okay. That's lovely. <laughs> Boss, right? Can't wait. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. Oh, oh nice. Not bad, not bad, not 
Fena, fena, fena. I love how it drops an axe and that is a good way to kill it. Okay, okay, pretty good. The fact that I was able to do that means it must not have been too hard. Usually with Metroidvania bosses, I struggle a bit. Well, I don't think this is actually Metroidvania, but you know what I mean. Metroidvania, Castlevania, all that good stuff in general. I usually struggle a bit on them. But that was that wasn't so bad. In fact, I'd even say that was predictable. I'd like to say that I got I've gotten better at games like this, but it's probably just this game being relatively easy. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not gonna complain, obviously. Oh nice! That's awesome. Nice. You can hurt the eyeballs too? I didn't know that. That could come in handy. I wonder if you can hurt them even without the fire. If I knew that, it would have made things a lot easier for me. Alrighty then. Do I have to go up there? Okay, there we go. As, it, as proven, I can kill them without fire. Which is good. I like that. Ah, oh, darn it. Well, shit. I see those are checkpoints. It's cool. I like that. Darn it. I'm getting my timing off. I need to actually focus here. I'm weak and I'm strong. How do you feel about that, you dumb bird? Your bird brain, your big brain? Why should I be tempting fate like this? Oh, okay. Yeah, I got back here. That explains why I didn't see a skeleton, I should have realized. Come on. There you go, Stuckums. That's better. Ha. Not gonna get me again, are you, you stupid eyeball? Neither are you. As long as I stay calm and I time it properly, everything's gonna be just fine. I think that's like most of Castlevania. I think I solved most of Castlevania right there. Good timing. Nice. Oh, jeez. Well, not getting dive bombed is probably better. Not letting yourself get ganged up on is probably the better option. Yeah, see, this game was made when they still did the stairs thing. I mean, don't get me wrong, it, it, it functions just fine. Although it would be nice if you could jump onto the stairs, like apparently some Castlevania games can let you do. But it's fine. Just the fact that you that it gives you air control is very much appreciated. You have no idea. Oh, sweet. Oh. I probably could have avoided dying for one. Why do I get the feeling that I just got knocked down another peg? Same map as before. Can I just... Okay, I can. I can just go up here. Bypass the whole thing. That's good, I guess. Darn it. I probably could have avoided that. But I wanted to try not to let the eyeball hit me. Okay, that's fine. 
you've got an eyeball and a crow coming at you at the same time, it can be hard to time it properly, you know? It's perfectly fine, though. It's fine. Maybe at least this time I can not be so hasty. Oh boy, that was a close one. <laughs> there, now I won't be so hasty. That's better. See? Much better. Would you agree? Although I think that only affects your score, doesn't it? It's still nice, though. Oh, boy. There we go. Just gotta learn timing. Like I said, it's all for Castlevania. Just gotta have better timing here. Okay, that, that was a save, I think. Oh, jeez, it's like that one up. It's like that one level of Donkey Kong Arcade. Can these not be destroyed? Okay, they can, but they are lower to the ground. You have to crouch to kill them. Darn it. Oh, this is unfortunate. Well, at least I'm safe right here. I'll just keep falling down there. Actually, no, that would be worse. I think I'm making it worse for myself. Oh, wait, they are eventually getting knocked off, but still... Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I need to get down there and fast. What do these two do? One of them is red and one of them is blue, which does what does what? I'm curious what these actually do. This is probably bad, isn't it? I have almost no health left. Oh, a giant eyeball, great. Oh boy. Yeah, that's why I figured. Game over. Oh jeez. Hmm. No, 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 no. Accidentally clicking the wrong things. Yeah, um, you have a limited amount of lives. That's unfortunate. Hang tight real quick. Okay, I killed the eye. That wasn't too bad. Stage clear. Good. Hey, I got everything back. Good. Isn't that lovely? Stage two. Oh, nice. That's awesome. Yeah, you're not so tough. All I gotta do is know exactly how the patterns work, and I will have it down the hat. I'll be fine. Yeah, I says I immediately get hit. I really need to exercise patience, don't I? Probably. Oh, some kind of burb. That's always lovely. And destroying statues as always. What the hell is that? That is just disgusting. 
Better be careful of these birds. <laughs> oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Okay, yes. Right. If I'm not careful, I'll jump right into their gas. That's why you should be careful with them. They're not much of a threat below you, but above you, very much so. But it's fine, it's fine. As you can see, I can selectively fast forward things if I need to. Oh, that's interesting. Darn it. I wasn't paying attention to its patterns at all. This looks familiar, actually. Ooh. Nice, that existed. That's awesome. Sadly, it's not going to help me very much. Hey, you jerk. I'm guessing you can't get in that crevice there, can you? Oh, a roly-poly. I didn't realize that was a thing. I need to be careful. Take evasive actions. I keep letting myself get hit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you can tell Symphony of the Night would... Uh... Actually, I don't even know what came first, this or Symphony of the Night. Because there is some pretty similar design philosophies going on here. For some reason... What the? Okay. Oh, jeez. Wow, that was a close one, wasn't it? Oh, boy. For some reason, the game is slowing down. I'm not doing it. And unlocking the frame rate still makes it go faster, so it's... Well, I guess it's just forcing it to go faster, so it, it could be just being screened for some reason. The music doesn't sound like it's going slower, though, so what's going on here? That's weird. Oh boy. Oh boy. Damn it. To be fair, that would have been a hard jump to make. There, there, okay. Ignored the bat. Because I'm an idiot. Damn it. Would you cut that out? You know, those rats remind me of frogs on Jill of the Jungle. Beach. Up, uh, hot damn. Now this is getting trickier. I honestly don't know if I'm better off just crouching or trying to wait for them to jump. Probably crouching. Because then it doesn't, you don't have to wait for them to make the move. And the slowdown area again, for some reason. You'd think that would work to my advantage, but no. In some ways, it's actually worse. Oh, nice. That's nice. Oh, boy. Excellent. That's, that's good at least. There we go. There. Maybe that helps. Jellyfish again. So long, pal. How do I get the feeling I'm gonna get attacked? Yep, 
I knew it. Ah, I knew it. Oh, very nice. That seems to just destroy everything on screen. Which is great. I love that. Oh boy. Take this. They're almost like the Medusa heads. What the? Crap. Well, crap. If I click continue, will I continue back at the- Okay, the beginning of stage two. That's, that's good, I guess. At least I know that the progress to the next stage is pretty much permanent. No matter what. Even if I lose my lives, I can go back to it. I like that. Also, did I get hurt from the chandelier? I can't even tell. Darn it. Here you go, pal. What do you think of that? It does hurt you. So maybe I should go ahead and not do that. Yeah, I'm really doing a good job of that, aren't I? Darn it. On the other hand, maybe I could get them to hurt my enemies. That would be handy, wouldn't it? Darn it. Hey, gimmick. These bats are... They have very erratic patterns. Uh, and I was so focused on the bats that that guy got me. Darn it. That's better. That again. Oh boy. Hey, gum it. Freaking blobs. Oh, that's handy. Just need to do that. That's way more handy. Nice. What did that do? Oh, okay, I see. I should be able to hit that lever. Pull down the drawbridge, of course. That's great. Alternate path. Oh, those things. I remember those things. Fleas, I think. I think that's what they're called, Fleeman. Yeah, they like to jump around a lot, hence fleas. The comparison to them. Fortunately, you might be able to just wait for them to come to you. Considering they're so hyperactive, they like to move around a lot. Don't try to fight them on their terms. Let them come to you. At least that's what it seems to be to me. Excellent. That's much better. These stairs are still awkward, though. But it's fine. What the? Huh. Neat. Good thing ball damage isn't a thing in this game. Oh, okay. Darn it. That wasn't very a very good idea, was it? There you go, you sick freak. Now where do I go? Evidently I need a key. I don't know where I'm gonna find one, that's for sure. Yeah, get it. Oh, 
That was an instant death. That was fortunate for me. But it might end up being my death anyway. Okay. Like I said, I need to learn how to time things better. You know, like that. Although, to be fair, those collapsible platforms aren't really a matter of my timing. At least not directly. You could argue that perhaps I should have timed it better to when they were going to fall, but... That requires forward thinking, and... We both know I can't even think in the moment, let alone forward thinking. Now, what do we have here? Nicely done. I like that. Ah, those things again. It's fine, it's fine. Now prepare to die. Oh, sweet. You know, I wonder where the idea came from to have him fight with a whip anyway. Obviously, Alucard just uses everything, but with the Belmonts, their signature weapon is a whip. Going to the water, what? I mean, it looks like he's going down to the water. Oh, I see. That's interesting. Okay, yeah, uh, ice platforms to get up there. Just gotta focus. That ice or glass? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter either way. Just I found a key. That's obviously what I needed. Son of a bitch. Well then. This is awkward. Just a, a wee bit. That's cool though. But sadly didn't do anything for me. Nicely done. Eh, nice. That was well timed even if I didn't anticipate it. It just happened to be good timing. How fortunate for me. There, that's the key. I'm just gonna have to actually use good timing here. Good luck with that. Oh boy, I really am happy for air control and I didn't realize I could go through that platform. Well, I think this is going to have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like my watery grave and I will see you next time. Now go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and pleasant day. Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed what you saw, feel free to check out more in these videos in front of you. And if you're a real junkie for all things gaming like I am, you can always subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified of more. I'm dying to see you again. <laughs>